how to use pen pressure sensitivity or stylus pressure sensitivity like from a Wacom in GIMP. By default, it's turned off. So let's first create a document file new. Let's choose a template for video full HD 1080p, which is 1920 by 1080. We'll draw it. And I'll use the control and middle mouse wheel to zoom out. I'll just hold space and just float with my mouse without pressing any of the mouse buttons to center the canvas here. Then if I go to this paintbrush, paintbrush here, right? Make sure the opacity is 100%. The color, clicking here, make sure it's black and white. Black's the first color here. And I'll choose, click here, choose this brush with uh, the rest of these settings. And I'll create a new layer. Okay. So if I draw and click with my stylus or pen here, with my Wacom pen in this case, it's consistent the whole way through on this new layer. There's no pressure sensitivity. So if I press lightly, it's the same as if I press hard. I press Control Z to undo. How to enable pressure sensitivity, if you go to Edit, Input Devices, by default, Core Pointer should be Mode Screen. In this case, my Wacom Tablet Eraser, if you have one, I put that in Mode Screen. That's the other side of your stylus or your pen. In your Wacom Tablet Pressure Stylus, go to Mode Screen, press Save. And once that is saved, it doesn't close. You have to close it yourself. And to check, go back to edit, edit devices, input devices, and you'll see that at least it's screened, so it saved it. Now, again, if I go back over here, go to the paintbrush tool, and then paint, it's still not active. I press Control Z to undo. What I have to do is under dynamics, click here, scroll down to pressure opacity. So that means if you click on here, you'll see that there's a grid here. That means the pressure of your stylus is going to be mapped to the opacity of the, the paintbrush. So if you press basically this opacity here, if you press the lightly, the opacity will go down. If you press hard, it goes to 100%. So if I press lightly, you see it's light. If I press hard, it's 100%. So this is how you get pressure sensitivity working in GIMP. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.